in a time not so distant and a place not too far, Tua To'i. A story is told of two people, a beautiful maiden whose beauty was unmatched, yet it masked her inner turmoil. In her quiet times, she was always deep in thought for her loved ones, those she had lost. Yet, even with all of this inner turmoil, her beauty inside and out was unmatched. There was also a young, strong-willed warrior that had fallen in love with her, yet she hardly even noticed him. Like the maiden, he also had this inner turmoil. The people were still healing from a time of war and loss. Despite this strife, the warrior remembered the wisdom of his grandfather. The maiden worked hard caring for her family. She would always receive attention from young suitors. Flutists played songs from afar for her. The singers were relentless for her. Craftsmen created for her. The hunters would bring offerings for her. Even with all of these offerings and gifts, something was still missing. At times it became so overwhelming, she thought of just running to be free. But she could not. She loved her people and family too much. The warrior began to remember the medicine grandfather taught him. The red willow weaves. And so, he began weaving hoops in the way of the ancestors. And practiced this ancient dance as his grandfather taught him. When he was ready, he danced for the people, awakening again the healing dance of the ancestors. As the warrior danced this ancient dance, the maiden took notice. He danced with the grace of the legends, this ancient healing dance of the people. She remembered stories of this healing dance. Her heart warmed, knowing his reasons for dancing, to heal the people. When the warrior finished his dance, he found himself kneeling before the woman 
he had fallen in love with. It was at this time the hoops began weaving their stories together. Hearts were healed and woven together as the hoops. To become as one, to honor the story of this healing dance. Tawatona, the hoop.